GI Joe fans Joe Motion Videos 82 here it is time for another GI Joe toy review uh, keeping with the theme of the month keeping with the weird and unusual side of GI Joe we're going to be looking at uh I believe it is the 2007 I need to double check on that 2003 my apologies uh neurotoxin and now this guy is quite interesting uh he is kind of reminiscent to the sand scorpion as he is a a desert trooper uh, but he also comes with this really cool uh, scorpion so we'll take a look at at that when we review the figure um, as you can see from the picture it was I have one that's packaged it came with the razor trooper I may or may not get to him this month um, because he is sort of spooky but you know he could also fit in with a regular review so I'm not going to be opening that one because I have one that's loose and we'll be reviewing this guy so sit back uh, grab something cold if you so choose to and let's take a look at this very cool action figure so here we go all right so here he is neurotoxin and what a cool action figure this guy is um, just to share this is what the razor trooper looks like very cool action figure can he can fit in with the crimson guards if you so choose to very neat 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 action figure uh, this is definitely going to get open because the kid or whoever owned this at one point put um, x's through the figures that he had and circles i guess around the ones that he needed but these are all the figures that were available in these two packs with the valum and uh, valor versus venom from the movie you know we have beachhead kamakura alpine hard drive storm shadow swamp rat who i reviewed last year three variants on that guy the baroness snake eyes uh, cobra bat version 4 destro version 960 i think uh, the electric eels which i reviewed last year very cool action figure he is translucent and his backpack makes him light up very very sweet figure and agent jinx so let's go ahead and look at this guy since he is the star of the show first and foremost let's look at his accessories uh, he came with a reprint of spearhead's rifle uh, okay spearhead was a desert trooper he's a desert trooper so this this goes in uh, he has a serrated bayonet uh, two different magazines here nice pistol grip or nice handle on there uh, if you could see that it has there we go uh, has the diamond pattern on it you could see the uh, serrated end uh, flash suppressor same on this side but the the sling this is something you have to watch out for some people have been cutting the slings off and i could understand it's cumbersome and kind of gets in the way uh, he came with these two accessories that fit on his hand one is this claw uh, non-functioning but cool nonetheless and he came with a submachine gun you see it's patterned right here to look like the claws on a scorpion uh, having seen many scorpions out here in the american southwest i could assure you that is the pattern that is on the scorpions so this machine gun is pretty cool uh, they both you see they're hollow they slide right on his hands very nicely there is no left or right and he he presents as a uh, pretty good foe um, 
The desert scorpion, if you remember, um, came with claws that help him dig in the sand, which um, this guy does not. And I put my figure stands someplace and forgot where they were, so we'll just sit him down. Midlife moment, guys. I apologize. Now, this is my all-time favorite accessory. Look at this robotic scorpion. The stinger here on the back is uh, done up in a silver color. They didn't have to do that, but they did. The tail does move. Uh, when you find a scorpion laying down or down on the ground with its tail like this, usually means it's asleep. But don't take that for granted because this tail flips up and it could zap you pretty quick. Um, it does have a neurotoxin in it, hence the name. Uh, for adults being stung by a, an adult scorpion, you'll feel a little bit of anxiety, some pain, uh, general discomfort. It's best to seek medical attention. It is not so life-threatening as it is with a child. Now, I have treated a couple kids with scorpion stings. It is so traumatic on them. They are very anxious. Their lungs fill with fluid. We have to frequently um, suction their lungs out to help them breathe better. We put them on oxygen. We treat them for anxiety. Push IV fluids through them quickly to get the toxins out of their system. But this scorpion does not have claws, but two machine guns. He doubles as a backpack. This is really neat. So you take this guy, you put it on there, the machine guns go over his shoulders. It, the backpack does not like to stay on, but the legs do fold up around him. So, he has um, some mobile infantry with him. It really stinks that that does not fit on him. So, looking at the sand scorpion figure himself, uh, he has this wearing a cowl with a visor. Cobra emblem right here on the cowl. Also, a huge one on his chest. There are several figures that look like this. Uh, he reminds me of... If you could remember the Speed Racer cartoon, um, the the what did they call them? They were something assassins. The assassin gang kind of looked like this guy, but he is wearing this black or the, this tan uniform with splashes of yellow on it. Again, done up in that desert in that scorpion pattern. He has shin guards, which is nice. Uh, help him against snake strikes. He's wearing black shoes, some nice knee pads. He has this gray belt with another cobra emblem on it. Some pouches around this belt. I like the gray on there. It breaks up the color pattern. But just look at this guy. He is so cool. And his scorpion, you can see, almost blends into this background but with all of these accessories I mean this guy is really really neat we'll just we'll find out just how neat in the next segment all right these Valor versus Venom two packs uh, come with a comic book uh, I had reviewed one opened up one and reviewed it a while back and read a quick little excerpt from the comic but um, this actually came from uh, a two-pack that I have here uh, that's loose with Nitro Viper and Red Eye. Um, it kind of didn't show up in the flash of the camera. But um, Red Eye is a sniper. So when we get back to reviewing regular Joes, uh, your average Joe, if you would, um, I, I'll review these guys. They are pretty cool, and I just might do a two-for-one since it is a two-pack. 
um, on these guys, but Nitro Viper, or not Nitro Viper, but Razor Viper. I'm going to save him for later. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into my favorite segment, Byron's Gripes. Uh, thank you very much for those of you who are just joining me have just subscribed. Um, I want you guys to know how grateful I am. Thank you very much. If your channel is made public, I subscribe back to you as a favor and also to let you know that I, I've seen your subscription. If you leave a comment as well uh, when you subscribe, um, that lets me know who you are. So um, if your channel is private, I could at least um, add you into the drawing because I want everybody to be qualified for these drawings. Uh, I don't know your handle on YouTube if it isn't public. So if your your name is is if your channel's kept private, just um, shoot me a quick message down in the comment section. You know, hey you bald sucker, I I just re uh, subscribed to your channel and. Uh, you could give me your first name and last initial if you so if you feel comfortable or give me a code name or something so i could add that in my box of names because i do hold giveaways uh, i will be holding a surprise giveaway here pretty quick so i'll be making that announcement once i get everything together and i promise you guys it is a very good prize I will not reveal it just yet okay I do have it I have it in hand but I won't reveal that just yet until I make that prize announcement uh, so to my disclaimer I do Byron's gripes as a way to um, educate you guys on prices that are available uh, I use eBay only for a reference. There are several other sites out there that sell GI Joe. Uh, you could even go to yojo.com, sign up with them, and they have they sell Joes on yojo.com. Uh, also, hit up your local vintage toy stores and your thrift stores. Support a local business, please, because that tax those tax dollars stay in your community stay in your state and you're helping a small business. I love small businesses. I love small business owners. They are great people. Um, either they're trying to make a living and sometimes that just isn't easy. So let's go ahead and type in neurotoxin, GI Joe, GI Joe, N E U R O toxin 2003. What was I doing in 2003? Uh, well, I actually took a break um, from respiratory for practicing respiratory therapy for, for about a year. Um, I had gotten a needle stick at work during uh, what we call a code. It's short for code blue. A nurse had, this is before the, the safety needles. Um, I was the, the stupid one. I reached around a nurse as she was pulling an IV needle out so I could continue um, using the manual resuscitator with an Ambu bag, you know, that bag you see people squeezing. Uh, I reached around her to squeeze that bag to give somebody room to get around to the front of the, the head of the patient. So they could put the breathing tube in because I was holding the mask on, blah, blah, blah. And the nurse accidentally stuck me in the arm with a dirty needle. So I we did all the proper paperwork. Long story short, I developed cellulitis. My, left, my arm swelled up really big. It was stuck in this position. I was on antibiotics for a very long time. And the doctor suggested that I stay out of that environment for, for a time uh, so I wouldn't get sick again. Uh, so I took time out, and um, since I have a college degree, I was able to teach school. So I went to a local elementary school, 
Um, I don't have any private stories about or childhood memories about this guy. But um, so anyway, I went to a local, my old elementary school, applied, I got a job. I was teaching special ed reading uh, to the first grade students, um, teaching them how to read, teaching them the alphabet and phonemes, which is technical for the sounds that the letters make like a, 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 b, b, c, k, and s. So, uh, ironically, I was in the same classroom that I, I had been in as a student, and some of the same playground equipment was there, so I was able to tell the students I played on this swing set, and I remember when this slide was built, one of the little turny slides, and it was, it was great, great memories. But anyway, so let's get to Byron's gripes. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we have an unopened two-pack, um, $18. Not bad. That is, that's not bad for this. So I'll put that up at the end of the day. Here's another one, uh, $19.99 or better offer, uh, $7.99 in shipping. That's about average right now for shipping here in the United States. So the cost of postage has gone up. So I'll put that with deal of the day. Neurotoxin just by himself. It's a good troop builder, so why not? $7.50 for him. Uh, just for the card back and some of the papers that come with it, four bucks or better offer. Um, $15.95 with $11.95 shipping. No, thank you. Um, I know people need to make money, uh, but that much for shipping, just that's just a little too much, in my opinion. That is strictly my opinion. Okay, Valor versus Venom Neurotoxin, uh, Sand Scorpion Trooper, uh, uh, it's a Troop Builder lot. Okay, um, that's an auction. I seldom seldom quote auction prices unless one just ended and I'll tell you what it sold for. So here's one with the gun and the scorpion um, missing the hand accessories which I think are pretty cool. $7.95 not bad. Um, his file card $1. I will put that up at the deal today. <laughs> <laughs> One dollar, but you're paying three ninety five to ship it. Um, no, 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 no. Unless he ships it in a brown envelope or a padded envelope, then that's three ninety five. But for me, you know, put it in a, a regular mailing envelope, slap a stamp on it, and send it out. But that's me. I'm a tight wad um, when it comes to shopping for myself. Anyway, uh, here's one incomplete, uh, and it comes with. Um, Spearhead's rifle, $9.99 or better offer. No, 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 thank you. Um, wow. I didn't know this existed. This is pretty cool. I got to show you guys this. It is called Spy Troops Conquest of Cobra Mountain and Shipwreck Mint and Sealed Box. Will you look at that? I didn't know this place said existed. That is so cool. Oh, and they they're selling a um, twelve inch shipwreck to go with that. That is so neat. Um, I'm not going to pay two hundred twenty dollars for it though, so they could keep it. Here's one just by himself, ten ninety five. I think not. That is just a little bit too. Two, 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 insane. Um, they're selling his head a dollar fifty for your, all the customizers out there, and that looks like it's about it. Um, yeah, that's the last page. So there we go, guys. Neurotoxin, great accessories, really cool action figure. The two pack is not all that expensive, so you know, pick one up if you can. But even if you just find the scorpion by himself i mean a robot scorpion come on that is cool you could use this to patrol use it you know the patrol cobra island 
use it as a support troop for your you know the, the possibilities are limitless um I wish they articulated his tail a little bit more but I'm sure that was just to cut down on expense but this guy that scorpion is the best accessory I've seen in a very very long time so thank you very much guys for tuning into my channel thank you so much for the subscriptions I greatly appreciate you guys I love hearing from you please leave me a comment I love getting back with you thank you for your support on Friday Night Frights and the cameo by Count Vampire last night uh, reviewing uh, that amazing uh, toy from Burger King uh, I did not know that those existed I would have bought those um, I found them online I got them dirt cheap I mean dirt dirt cheap like four bucks a piece the loose um, Wolfman that was reviewed that came along with the bagged um, werewolf so I have one that's bagged still vampire opened the other one so this is going to stay in the bag um, I I like those those really neat toys um, most of it is is junk anymore but sometimes they'll put out a really cool action figure and I think that was like the celebration for Universal Monsters uh, Universal Studios Monsters um, but quick just a, a quick bit of history on Universal Studios. The 1932 Dracula starring Bela Lugosi. Um, that movie alone saved Universal Studios from bankruptcy. It brought in that much money. Uh, and so we have Dracula, uh, Bela Lugosi, to thank for that. And what would the horror genre be without that if if universal would have tanked would there would the horror genre have existed would there have been more horror movies produced by others we don't know but dracula by itself saved universal studios from bankruptcy and what was sad is they still underpaid bella for his work they did um uh, who was it? Boris Karloff usually got top billing. He got paid more than Bella, but they were pretty good friends for a, a long time. And then later on, there became a rift. But um, Bella was actually buried in his Dracula costume. Isn't that not cool or what? So anyway, you guys, you take care. Stay safe out there. Remember, be kind to everyone. Especially be kind to animals. They know nothing but unconditional love. Stay tuned later on. Uh, and I need to cook dinner right now. But stay tuned later on for Friday Night Frights. We're going to... Uh, Vampire will be here. Be reading a little bit more to you guys. Um, so please give him some support. Leave him some comments too. He likes to hear from you. But you guys stay safe. Be kind to everyone. Especially during, during this goofy time a little bit of kindness does go a long way and especially be kind to animals they know nothing but unconditional love so this is joe motion videos 82 signing off for now we'll see you next week for another gi joe toy review uh, i'll try to get it up as soon as i can uh, my work schedule has changed Ugh. I hate that, but it it has changed. Um, we'll have to see. As I'm we're really busy, so I'm putting in four days a week now instead of my normal three. You know, my 36 hours it'll be 48 hours now. Uh, that's kind of rough. They're 12 hour shifts. But um, anyway, you guys take care. See you next week for another GI Joe toy review, and um, also I think Halloween. Is coming up next week so um there'll be a halloween special of course so anyway see you then bye 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 it's time to go home i'm done man oh, gosh this pause button just does not want to work sometimes here we go